I won't cry for you. My mascara is too expensive. These words can be attributed to Adriana Lima, a Brazilian supermodel and actress. Although most people might consider this a funny remark, it shows in a nutshell the importance makeup plays in a woman's life. Rosen Tongondu is the founder of Makeup by Rose, a company that offers cosmetology services in Nairobi. While she might not have the same kind of thoughts like Adriana Lima, for Rose, makeup is all about boosting the confidence of the African woman. For me, I've loved beauty since I was a very young girl. Uh, I remember when I was in Sarah Defoe, my, my older sister had a salon back in Meru. And every day after school, I would run to, the, to her salon just to see. You know, I just love to see the before and after. You see, when a woman comes in, her hair is unkempt, and then it's done, and then the look that she gets after it's done, it just got me. But um, I did beauty as a whole uh, in school, but then I just love the face. I love the confidence when the brows are well groomed and the, the face just looks, you know, uh, uh, very... There's, there's something that, that it makes, it actually gives me goosebumps when I see that confidence. Although starting out might have been easy for Rose, convincing customers to give her business proved to be an Achilles heels at first. At the time, the makeup industry was too small and underdeveloped. Before when I started nine years ago, the industry was pretty small. So like you, you had to have a name for you to make money, for you to get those jobs coming. So like for me, making a name for myself was the hardest part. Like I struggled for three good years, three years. I struggled with doors closing in my face, no one wanting to give me jobs. And when the jobs came, no one, no one wanted to pay. They were like, oh, we are, we are helping you to build a name. We're help. So like I worked for, for a full year with no pay. So that was a pretty hard challenge. And that's, that again inspired me to start the, the professional training. We are actually the number one makeup trainers in, in, in Kenya. In order to make ends meet, the 34-year-old took a break from the industry and started doing odd jobs. This included selling onions at Korogosho and the selling of popcorn at Kahawa Wendani. All these efforts make Rose feel nostalgic about her first ever customer. It's awesome, number one, because they knew who I was. You know, I was like, ah, finally my efforts, you know, like my people are recognizing who I am and my work because I work pretty hard. So the, it was pretty awesome. And it, at, at first it's pretty scary because you really, really want to impress the client. And uh, that's the one thing that I actually train my students, like confidence and how, how to treat clientele, like customer care, we teach all that. So like for me, it was pretty awesome just to be recognized. Rose, a former head of makeup for Suzy Wakabi and Pauline Cosmetics, opted for self-employment as she wanted to develop more talents in the industry. Even before I was employed, I had makeup by Rose, but no one knew me, so it did not exist. But the reason why I decided to leave employment and, st and, and, and just completely put all my effort and energy into my own business is because working, uh, like being employed limits you actually limits you if you have the plans of of getting into entrepreneurship so uh, I wanted to put like all effort in my own business and like for me um, I use my business to grow women so I was only growing myself being in another company but at, at least I got all the uh, I got the clientele I got people got to know who I was uh, people got to give me a chance uh, through that other company, so uh, in turn it gave people faith uh, when I started my own business, but being employed limits you. Due to the competitive nature of the makeup industry, Rose is of the opinion that it is important for her to understand what clients want. For any business venture, customer satisfaction is essential as this often leads to retaining clients. It's also cheaper to retain customers than to acquire new ones. We are totally a different kind of uh, makeup artist. Uh, the one thing that we promise clients is to give them what they want. Like uh, you find like the mature, the young, when we, we get the young clientele, what they want is just to, to look good and feel good. The mature women, what they want is just for us not to use makeup to change how they look. Like some of them will come to us and say, I want to look, I want you to put makeup on me, but I don't want to look different. 
So meaning they just want to look natural. So meaning they want you to enhance how they look and how they feel. And that's what we give them. So for all our clients, we promise them, we promise to give them what they want. Trained extensively in the US and Kenya, Rose is an ambassador for Iman East Africa, Pauline Cosmetics and Kitoko Makeup. She's also a representative of Chelsea Beauty. According to Rose, a makeup artist will only succeed if they are driven by the right reasons. Makeup artistry in Kenya, it's, it's both. It's pretty challenging and pretty rewarding if you know how to go about it. Now, the, the, I always say there are two kinds of makeup artists. There's the makeup artist who's just there to get paid and the makeup artist who's actually there to make women feel good. So if, um, if you take makeup artistry as a, as a serious business, it's very rewarding. Like for me, this is what I've been doing for the past nine years, just makeup. Even though she has been in the sector for more than 10 years, Rose still faces the same kind of challenges that she did at the onset of her career. Challenges that I, I face now is getting so many companies wanting me to, to do a job and then just give me credits, you know? I mean, I, I did that for so many years. So for me now, you, you keep getting, uh, most companies, most big companies do not want to pay. They just want makeup artists to do the job and just get the credits, which is, at the end of the day, we have to pay bills. So that's one of the hardest challenges that I get. And again, when it comes to my students, I always talk about my students, it's a huge challenge for them. And it's something that I'm trying to, to remove so that they're very, they're pretty young. I have someone like 17 years, 20 years old. It's, uh, I want them to be able to make a living out of this industry, not for people to exploit them. So there's a lot of exploitation in the industry. Exploitation of young makeup artists led Rose to opening a makeup training school. So far, the school has trained more than 200 students. Established in 2010, the training program is not only about makeup, but much, much more. The biggest reason I found why they come to me is because of the mentorship part and the business part. Because most people will train you how to do something. They won't actually teach you how to get a job out of whatever they trained you in. So for me, when I train all my students, I actually get them jobs. If, if they are the ones that want to start a business, I teach you how to start a business. I've been, I've been in business for the first nine years. So I know the do's and don'ts, you know, I know the mistakes that I've made. And so I help them through that. So like when I get students, like I have some who are training, we recently started training online. Like I have a student from Zambia who started today, she's training online because she's not able to come to Kenya. Like for her mainly, it's a, it's a business aspect. She wants to know how to start selling makeup products. Like how, where, who does she sell it to? You can, anyone can do makeup, but only a few are able to, to use, to, 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 to make a brand out of the, the business. Rose's efforts of empowering young girls have not gone unnoticed. In 2015, she was nominated in the top 40 under 40 women list in Kenya. Being uh, on the top 40 under 40 2015 list is a, is a really, for me, it's a, it's a confidence booster. And, and for my business, it actually grew my business. And, and for me as an, 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 a person, it makes me feel really good to know that people recognize what I'm doing. And uh, the reason I got on the top 40 under 40 is for the, for the things that I do for the young girls, for the women using my business to empower young girls, to empower women. So it actually uh, motivates me to do even better, you know, to help even more people. Like I have this goal to have more than 100 girls employed every year. And so far I get like, I get like five employed every two weeks. So we are getting there, pole pole. Having worked with product lines from other companies, Rose hopes to establish her own makeup line soon. However, her products will be purely organic. First, I've always wanted to have my own makeup line, but first I wanted to work with a few companies and see. And see, you know, you have to learn something before you jump in and, 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 and start your own. So like right now, I think I have enough enough um, knowledge uh, of the science that goes behind products. I think I have enough contacts to be able to do that. But um, th the one thing that I want to do is to bring in products. Like I am really, really trying um, to fight counterfeit products. That, that's the biggest challenge that I have right now. Uh, I have a campaign called I Am Beautiful and I Know It where we encourage women to love themselves just the way they are. 
you know, not to try and change their skin color, not to, to try and change how they look. And um, out of that, I've started a campaign uh, called uh, Keeping It a, a Natural Beauty uh, to kick uh, counterfeit products out of the market. So for me, I want to start organic products, you know, products that can work for every African woman, products that do not affect any skin type. So that's what I'm working towards right now, and um, pretty soon I'll have my own brand. Makeup by Rose currently has two permanent employees and six representatives. The company, though, is eyeing a much wider market. Plans that I have for the future is to train even more students, to, you know, to, to, to be able to expand, not only in Kenya. I keep getting uh, students from, like, Rwanda and Zambia, and those are countries that I want to expand to. Like, uh, not only in Kenya, I want to do Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, uh, and, and many other companies, and eventually all over the world. And what I want to spread is we need to empower women. We need to get more win women employed. We need to stop the young prostitution. You know, and if, if you don't help them get a job, then how do they do they make a living? So in, in, instead of us sitting down and just talking about how women, you know, are getting sponsors, how women are prostituting themselves to get money, we need to find a solution. And the only way we can find a solution is to create job opportunities for these young girls. So for Makeup by Rose, for me, I do that through my company. Nevertheless, Rosen Tongondu does have words of advice for people aspiring to be self-employed. The beauty industry is pretty vast. It's huge. So do not try everything. Find out what you, you, you have a lot of passion in and get a mentor, someone to mentor you in that and then start your journey and never give up. It's pretty hard. The industry has very many people and it's mostly women. And no women hate on each other. <laughs> we hate on each other a lot. So. It's good to have that confidence. So when, you, when you get started on something, do not give up. Don't start midway. Don't stop midway. You know, just go with it full force. Get as, as much knowledge. Research, research, research. Do a lot of research into whatever you want to get started in.